investing in certain types of mm -hmm. you know, oil and gas companies, mm -hmm. the investment they're reporting it, the concern, yeah. oh, and the fact. Here we are outside this <laughs> jail where Chelsea Manning is being held, and we're going to try to walk in the visitor's entrance and see if we can visit Chelsea Manning. We're here to show our support. Uh, we think she's taken an incredibly courageous stand saying no to testifying with this grand jury. And um, she has said that everything she knows has already been out there from the time of her court martial in 2013. And uh, she is also doing this to show her contempt for the grand jury process itself, which is so undemocratic. And uh, she could be held for the entire length of the grand, of the grand jury, which could be 18 months. Uh, and um, we are here to say that we are in total support of Chelsea Manning and the courage she is showing. And we feel that there is absolutely no reason for her to even be called before the grand jury. And as her lawyer said, uh, if indeed they thought it was so uh, important to have her call before the grand jury. There was no reason to keep her in jail, that she could have been in her own apartment instead of being in prison, and especially given her health situation and the fact that she has already been in prison for seven years. And imagine the trauma that she is feeling right now to be back behind bars. Uh, some of us have been behind bars ourselves, and we know it's no fun at all. You know, Chelsea Manning is a victim already of government abuse. She was tortured in Kuwait by the army. They put her in a cage, outside cage, for six months. Then she was abused at Quantico in the prison, uh, not allowed to wear clothing. Um, Hello, the support Good. of How torture. You, Good. you just have to stay on the other side of the street. Okay, we wanted to see if we could pay a visit to Chelsea Manning. Yeah. No. How does the visitation work? Visitation work? works like this. Once the person goes to a housing unit, they sign up for a visit, they call the people and let them know who they want to come visit, what day and time to come. Okay? And when will she be able to start having visitors? When she's classified. How long does that take? Up to 72 hours. Uh, how long has it been there? She got here yesterday. Uh -huh. So, probably the latest on Tuesday. Is there any way to send her a message that people outside are here to No, we don't give a our, our policy says we don't give messages to inmates. Oh, uh, can you give her a little... No, ma'am. Uplift? No, ma'am. No? Okay. Well, thank you very much. You're we welcome. hope you're treating her well. We treat everyone here well. Yeah? Yes. Okay. She's we treat her... She's in a female dorm, right? She, she's right now, she's in that intake and receiving, so she's in the cell by herself. Uh-huh. And okay. after that? Then wherever she's classified to go. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, she's you know faced a lot as a whistleblower, seven years in prison. And okay. And they would take all that into consideration too. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much. You're we, welcome. Uh, Have a good day. We, we hope she's out soon. All right. Thank you. Do you take a jail at their word when they say they're treating her well? Well, as we were just saying, um, we know how she was treated in Quantico when she was there, stripped she was of her tortured. clothes and and. Um. And what? And in Leavenworth, solitary confinement. And solitary confinement in Leavenworth, absolutely. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. We yeah. have other people who are coming to see their family. Oh, okay, well, so okay. you're blocking the here. entrance. Can you please just move to the other side of the street? We're greatly appreciated. Thank you. Yeah. She was the victim of sensory deprivation, which uh, even the I mean, I shouldn't say even Germany, which has denounced Nazism, calls um, sensory deprivation a form of torture. So I think this country is really in serious trouble. You have a president declaring emergencies when there aren't emergencies so he can get his way. And now you have people locked up because they, they um, do not want to inform on the press to compromise the press. So they're being intimidated by prison up to 18 months. So we're on, uh, fascism is on the rise in this country in more ways than one. So we need you know, our great organizations like American Civil Liberties Union, and the Constitution, Center for Constitutional Rights, we need to really, and Amnesty International, we need to really get on this case because we cannot have American citizens just continually abused by our own government.
this uh, Bradley, I mean, uh, sorry, Chelsea Manning is really, has been a long time victim of torture. And victims of torture have a lot of trauma to deal with. It never fully goes away. I, I admire Chelsea so much for her courage and her initial act of whistleblowing and her courage to stand up through the, all the torture and the incarceration, the court-martial, and then she was under such terrible conditions at Leavenworth, she was in solitary confinement for a long time, it really affected her health, and she had the courage to stand up and say no to the grand jury, knowing they would incarcerate her again. I'm here to support her and to oppose the grand jury system. A lot of the reasons that have obviously just been spoken, and again, to show, to show support for, to someone that... Hello, um, how we doing? Very good, thing. Okay, can I ask you, you're blocking the gate right here, cars are coming in. We don't want anyone to get uh, hurt. Can I ask you guys where's to please the car move that's over coming there? In? Where's the car Cars come in and out periodically, and you're, you're oh. blocking our, our uh, gate I here. I think we could get out of the way of any car. I, I understand. I just don't want anyone to get hurt. So I'm well, going to ask you guys to. if you can children. please go across the street. No, I'm not saying you're children, well, but okay. I don't want anybody to get hurt as well. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty empty here. I yeah, understand that. So can I ask so you to go across the street? So why don't we just stand over here? They can always walk over here, right? No, no, you can't stand. Why? Can you stand over, over on the other side for why me, please? Why can't we stand over here? Nobody's okay. coming this all way. Right. What do you mean all, all right? right? What do you mean by all right? Okay. Well, we better go. <laughs> <laughs> All right for another, fascism, huh? Another example of rules that don't make any sense yeah. because this America gate is closed well, and there's nobody coming like, in and right, out. Like and there's permission or all right? No, he's going to, all right, we're going to arrest you. You know, this you kind of, the other side this of the is the kind of garbage you get at the Pentagon. All right. You know, and then they go and, uh, all right. Chelsea is, at this point, and it's interesting too, I think it was International Women's Day um, when this all occurred. Um, so kudos to her for also, you know, pointing something out that needs to be pointed out um, in our system that's extremely flawed, um, and doing it on International Women's Day, um, something that she is is, is looking to um, move her life further into, as far as her uh, as far as her gender is concerned. Um, I was following her for many years um, during her trial, um, like some of the people, like some of the folks that are here, um, and so we're back again to show that same support again for her. For someone that is uh, has taken a courageous stand, she could have just um, gone in and, and answered the questions, perhaps, or not even answered the questions. Um, but she took a principled stance um, in order to uh, take this uh, take this to the point of being jailed um, for an unknown period of time. Um, for someone that uh, um, is fragile, I think that's an extremely courageous, um, courageous and commendable thing to have done. So I think we're going to have to organize some ongoing vigils and visitation. Um, this is the first day. We just heard about this uh, yesterday, so we came out quickly. We'll get more folks the next time, and we'll try to organize so that we can go inside and visit Chelsea. But um, thanks for coming out today, and we will be back.